Hello and welcome to another video in choosing your main series. The goal of the series is to give you all the details related to builds, playstyle and leveling for each class so you can make an informed decision if you should start or switch to that specific class. This video will be focused on Warrior and all of its specs and we will start with the core class. Warrior is a heavy armor class with the highest HP pool compared to Guardian and Revenant. This makes the class easy to play as you can take a hit or two. The class mechanic is also quite simple, so warriors gain access to adrenaline as they fight. This can be seen right above the main skills. When you have at least one adrenaline bar filled, you can use a burst skill which will be different depending on the weapons that you have equipped. And if you are dual wielding, then it will be based on the main hand weapon. However, if you want to make the most out of it, you should use it when all three bars are full. And if you get out of combat, the adrenaline will gradually decrease. The leveling experience is also good and you have lots of weapons to test out. And while the class is still ok in expansion content at level 80, you should focus on unlocking an elite spec as it will be more powerful than the core class. As for the build in the video, I will add it in the description. And one small mention here, I am using the staff to see how it works with the core class in open world. You can use it too if you have secrets of the obscure. But the build linked in the description works very well without the staff. Moving on to the first elite spec, we have the Berserker, which was added with Heart of Thorns as a pure DPS class. Things changed a bit last year and now the spec is also a support that can provide quickness. And not just quickness DPS, you can play as a heal quickness. Now let's talk about the class mechanic. Berserkers gain access to Berserk mode, which will be added as F2 on your skill bar. In this mode, you'll do a lot more damage and your normal burst skills are replaced by primal burst skills which are even more powerful and also have a reduced cooldown, so you can use them every time you refill the adrenaline bar. This mode is limited, but you can extend it by using rage skills. The playstyle for this class is very active, you'll be using your burst skills a lot for any type of build, but it is also very fun and you can play it as either Condi if you like burning stuff or power DPS if you like to smash instead. Berserker also gains access to the offhand torch, which is a Condi weapon and it works well with the Condi build. But if you have access to Secrets of the Obscure, you also gain access to the main hand and offhand daggers, also offhand pistol and the staff, which works really well with the heal support build. And speaking about builds, I will add them in the description of the video. Now let's move on to the second elite spec, Spellbreaker. This spec was added with Path of Fire and it is a pure DPS spec which works great in open world and group content. The new mechanic added with Spellbreaker is the full counter skill, which sacrifices one adrenaline bar in exchange for invulnerability, and a counter attack if you are hit while the skill is activated. The focus of the spec is boon removal, so Spellbreaker is great at that with the dagger bird skill and the elite skill Winds of Disenchantment. And as for the playstyle, you'll have a lot of survivability due to the full counter skill. And this is why it works great in open world. If you add the staff, which we'll get to in a second, then you'll have even more survivability. Now for the weapons, Spellbreaker gains access to daggers for both main hand and off hand, which feels really nice to play because of the attack speed. But nowadays it works best with main hand dagger and off hand axe, and using hammer as the main weapon. If you have secrets of the obscure, you also gain access to off hand torch, which doesn't help you with any build, Offhand pistol, which can be used but axe will do more damage, and the staff, which can work in open world, but for big damage numbers you'll need to use a hammer. As for the builds, there is just the power DPS build, and you'll find it in the description of the video. And moving on to the final elite spec, we have Blade Swarm, which was added with End of Dragons. This spec can be played as power DPS, power alacrity DPS, and heal alacrity. As for the class mechanic, Bladesworn gains access to the Gunsaber mode, which is added as a new button on your skill bar and has 5 new skills. These skills can be used at range, which makes them really nice for a warrior, but the downside is that you lose access to one weapon set. But this is not all, the adrenaline bars are replaced by bullets, and instead of the burst skill, you have the dragon trigger mode, which depending on how many bullets you have, the more damage you do. When you enter the dragon trigger mode, you gain access to another set of skills. The first three will use all the bullets that you have and it will have a different effects. 
but you should go with the first one most of the time because it does the most amount of damage. And skills 4 and 5 are utility skills, so you are not interrupted from the dragon trigger. And you can reposition in case the enemy moved. Bladesorn also gains access to the offhand pistol, which is a really nice weapon to use and paired with the armament skills, it works better than the axe would. If you have secrets of the obscure, you also gain access to the offhand torch, which is not useful at all since the spec is power based. You also gain access to daggers, which are better than the torch, but still not good enough, and the staff, which will uh, be used on the heal support version. As for the builds, they will be added in the description of the video. In conclusion, Warrior is a simple and easy to play class with plenty of support options, if you are into that, but also lots of survivability. The damage is not the highest, but it will be more than enough to compete with other specs, and you also have high HP in case you get hit once or twice. As for the downsides, there aren't many. I think the main one is that if you like to play Conde DPS, you can do that only on Berserker. Everything else is power based. But other than that, it is really good. The support builds do not have a problem keeping up points and the heal builds are not the best. But they will get the job done. So, to sum this up, if you like a simple to play class with decent damage, then Warrior is for you. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.